What's good YouTube? It's your boy Lurker back with another video and today I'm checking out a video that popped up on my uh, recommended it's a video by David Alvarezzi. Uh So if you know who that is, um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna link the, the original video in the description so you guys can check him out. He uh, he kind of does this video format kind of inspired by Jubilee how they do their formats the, the do all this one is do all porn stars think the same and it's a long one So without further ado, let's just get right into it relationships are hard in this industry so I've always had like a big sugar mama kink. Never really went for guys with the- Am I gonna recognize every single one of them? I'm ashamed of myself. A lot of money. I tried the sugar daddy thing. It sucked um, because I'm not really good at faking what I'm doing, so. Does size matter? I want your arm, you know, I like yeah. this length. The amount of money a guy makes matters to me. So, you know, and if you're not into that, then we wouldn't date. What up, YouTube? What's going on, guys? Before we start this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Put on the post- that is da David Alvarezzi, who I was talking about. Um, so yeah, if you like this kind of Jubilee style format, but like with a little more risque topics that Jubilee won't, you know, tackle, uh, follow my boy uh, David Alvarezzi. He's not my boy. Uh, he probably, he doesn't even know who I am. I know who this is though, Kazumi. That's Kazumi, right? Notification because I'm gifting two people 50 buckaroonies who comment within the first thousand comments. So yeah, let's start the video. First thousand comment. Okay, I'll comment something. What should I comment, guys? Um, I'll just put that's so cool. It's like Jubilee, but rated R. Cool video. I just put, uh, I don't recognize any of them with like a winky face. All right, let's get back into it. We're stalling too much. All right, the first, well, no, this isn't the first prompt. Let's get to the first prompt. Do all porn stars think the same? Is that the first prompt? <laughs> Starting off strong, does dick size matter? Ooh. Three, two, one. Starting off strong, strongly agree. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Wait, get on that one line queen. are you on? Oh, am I, I'm on the strongly agree. Oh, am I supposed to be on a line? This okay. is strongly agree. No, no this that's strongly disagree. disagree. Oopsie. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does matter because if a guy has a 13 inch dick, then we're kind of like, Right? Like, that's like a little too big. That's kind of neutral then. No. Because over here on no, it's like, well. Well, yeah, because it matters. If you have a big dick, you're going to look cooler when you're fucking <laughs> it. That doesn't matter as much as technique. <laughs> you know? yeah, that's true. I like six true. inches. Yeah, but I'm saying like, dick size matters as in like, there's certain. Did she just say she likes six inches? My nigga. <laughs> in extremes where I'm like, I can't do that. Like, yeah. some guys. <gasps> are so big, you're like a holiday penis. Like you're good for Christmas and New Year's and my birthday, but I can't do you every day. I would need a wheelchair. So in that case, it does matter because I'll die. So I need a Can smaller be dick Shit. because if his <laughs> dick is super big, I'll have to cheat on him all the time with a two incher. Okay, I'm, I'm neutral on this. What about if the dick is too small? Exactly, that's why size matters. It's either too small or too big. I feel like the nice wiggle room is like five to eight inches, and then once it's above, if it's above that, my cervix is bruised, and if it's below that, I don't feel your teeny weeny. But then when fans ask you, does size matter, and people say no. I always say <laughs> yes, as long as you're not like a four incher or Four bit. inches is fine. Four inches is fine. Four inches is Are they saying four inches is fine now? My nigga. <laughs> four Wait. inches, 4.5 is the average. That girl looks like Aub Aubrey Plaza, like a thicker version of her. I always say yes, as long as you're not like a four incher or two. Four big. inches is fine. Four is okay. Four inches yeah, is fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Her. She reminds me of like a look at them thighs, them thick thunder thighs. Violet Myers has some thick thighs too. Look at them thighs. Thighs will crush a skull. <laughs> four inches is four great. inches. Four point five is the. She's quiet like Aubrey Plaza too. Well, Aubrey Plaza isn't really quiet. Who's this? What is she? Is she drinking? Are they all drinking white claws? They're drinking while they do this. See, that's why Dal David Alvarezzi is. He knows. He knows how to have fun. I mean, Jubilee does some. They do some videos where it's like truth or drink, but they don't. They're not always chilling when it's spectrum and just you know having a cool brewski here and there. Average uh, size in America. It's just great. So no. Okay. There's such a thing as too big of it i think the average size is six right five or five i don't know i don't know what the average size but is. i don't think, I think it's like five too small of it because we've all had sex with each other or it might we're be all six. like pussy owners I, and we've all made each other bust i hope yeah so yeah. and it didn't matter what our <laughs> sizes were you know if it's a micro it's just like scissoring i got a tiny yeah. it's the same thing <laughs> i like scissoring yeah. i'm cool with that yeah. put enough spit there <laughs> in my case i just think some 
Cups are just too big. Yes, agree. I agree with that. I disagree, <laughs> but I like to swallow swords, so <laughs> what can I say? I like all swords. <laughs> <laughs> That's Adriana. I think it's very much Chechik. up to personal preference. Too. Oh, yeah. Nico right. Mia, like if I, nerdy you know, wife. A guy pulls down his pants, if he, if he has like a two incher, a 13 incher, I'm like, we can work with this, bro. We can find something that'll both help us feel pleasure and relief. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love yeah. all answer. sizes. For a one time thing, <laughs> I don't think size matters at all. But if you're looking longevity wise, then yeah, you don't want 13 inches. Is that Nicole I could, Doshi? But like, <laughs> <laughs> I say no because. Right here. Violet Myers, anime, anime enthusiast. <laughs> I'm thinking my personal. Life. I think that's Nicole I don't Doshi. Take a big, but I'm also agreeing with Kazumi with the too big is like yeah, size does matter. So maybe I'm neutral. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm neutral. Porn wise, big <gasps> is what they like, and that looks better on camera. But personal life, two inches is fine for me. I'm gonna <gasps> you good anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think it's about girthiness, mm. really. For oh, talking I can't about, take girth. Really, I like girth. Oh, I can't take. I personally prefer a chode over like yes. a really long, long skinny and skinny. Dick. I feel like, like it's a pencil. Yeah. I would like like a little like thick <laughs> that's three inches way more mm -hmm. than like a ten inch <gasps> that's like like super thin. I feel like that would just skew me. I can't feel that. Or like a little that curve. A little curve. Curves scare me. Curves scare me. <laughs> <laughs> it like hits like the. It like yeah. Yeah. It's like a hook. No. Even su even sucking it. Is Where's like David? I, I want to see his face during all this. Uh, all these interactions. Like not fun because you're like, oh, it feels yeah. like a hook. But I feel like for me, there's so many other sexual actions that can happen to where it doesn't even matter to the point where it doesn't matter to me because we can do oral or foreplay. And honestly, foreplay and making out will get me off way quicker than even getting fucked. Yeah. Um, and I love fingering and fisting. So I feel like that's why, like overall, wow. it doesn't really matter because there's so many other like cool things you can do. I yeah. will say, the better I've gotten at sex, the less a <laughs> size matters. Because if I like learning how to ride small <laughs> is such a good skill set that feels really good because it basically feels like scissoring. And when I didn't really know how to, <laughs> I preferred big <laughs> because I felt like they did more work. It's but easier. now that I know how to be more active during sex, especially with riding. Ooh. I've been preferring small <laughs> and like knowing how to interact with different sizes. One of my biggest mm. problems was I used to <laughs> a lot of frat boys. So they That's didn't do problem. foreplay. Ah, <laughs> yep, yep. So like foreplay wasn't a thing. So for like only the little <laughs> guys do foreplay. <laughs> I don't think it matters. I can get off different ways. So I'll stay here. Well, I think size does not matter. I can come on all dicks. <laughs> just. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's too small or too big for you? Wow. <laughs> 13 inches, a little bit too big, but I would like hmm. to try. I still <laughs> like to fuck that cock. There's no too small for me. <laughs> I think when you do porn and then the d is smaller, we all kind of are like, yes! <laughs> oh my god. It's going to be a good day on Bro. set. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I'm like, make me look cool and make me look good. Like, give me the toughest shit, let's go. Yeah. yeah. That's dedication. I want your arm, you know, I like yeah. this line. The amount hmm. of money a guy makes matters to me. Yes. Mm. <laughs> this is, yeah. I'll, an I'll answer so in the opposite. I, in recent years, I've come to realize that like a lot of men are intimidated about my income. If I were to take a guy on vacation the whole time, he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I wish I could afford this for you. I, sh I could do these things. And in my mind, I feel like it's kind of like him thinking because he's the man that he should make a higher income. And we always have like a weird power play with that. I just think that I would have better relationships. Yeah, let me know guys. Uh, guys out there, if you're watching this video, uh, do, do you feel that way when you're in a relationship with a woman that you need to be the provider? I'd be interested to hear some of your guys' thoughts. Relationships, if they had their own money at the same equivalent. I don't think it matters because for me, like when I date someone, either it's because I really just like being around you or I like having sex with you. And hopefully if we're dating, I like both of those things. All my boyfriends I've ever had, I've always paid for everything. so. It's it's also just mm. kind of been a normal part of my dating experience, That's but I've never really minded I it never because I've always chosen partners who 
I need to remember to start pausing. I never really would have thought about how it must feel to be a woman in the 1%, like tax bracket, <clears throat> and you know, interacting with guys that, you know, might make 30K, 40K a year, 50K, they make way more than that. I think Kazumi makes like a, like a, a few hundred grand a month just from OnlyFans. She has an OnlyFans necklace. Look at that, that's the OnlyFans symbol. I've contributed in my life differently because the partners I've had have been able to spoil me in different ways, like their emotional intelligence and their time and I find like those things to be priceless compared to when I talk to richer guys and I just feel like they're douches and I feel like they have like a mm. weird power trip because they do equivalent their value to money. I have always I liked guys that. who are passionate about what they do so it's not like money is a big factor. It's like I don't want someone who's doing something because they think that they can make a lot of money. I don't like that but I've also dated guys after starting OnlyFans that like want me to pay for everything and then kind of want me to be a sugar mama so like I want them to at least make enough to where they don't rely on me to pay for everything. I just want them to do something that they're passionate about. I think people who work only for money are just like a lot more miserable in life. I, yeah. I agree with that. That completely. is true. I think the thing that's money isn't everything, guys. Most attractive to me is somebody who's driven and success is attractive as well, even if they're not making. You know and hitting the subscribe button is completely free. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to do it. You no know, top dollar if they're successful in whatever they're passionate about. I think that equates to a reasonable income. I that's mm. not one of my things that I look for is financial, only because my mom always taught me from when I was a young age to always get my own money and to do it on my own, so never depend on a man. So when I started dating and going for men who were, no, I guess, like at a higher higher rate than I was as far as like income. They were just like really too flashy and they didn't have a lot of interest that I have. So when I was starting to go for more normal guys or guys who either made the same amount of money or less, they were way nicer and we had more in common. So I don't know, I just never really went for guys with a lot of money. I tried the sugar daddy thing, it sucked um, because I'm not really good at faking what I'm doing, so. I feel like broke guys f better. They do. They fuck like guys with no car. They f like you, they need a home. No, <laughs> man, saying CEOs, that, like, saying that. CEOs f better, especially when they're f***ing you in their suits. Trust me. Yeah, that's Well, you can so like, buy a suit. That's why I'm a suit. They that's have the money. Yeah, yeah and that's like another yeah. reason why. It's not because I want to be mm -hmm. sugar. I don't want them to sugar daddy me. It's I want a businessman that runs their own business that's a CEO the same way I am. I don't know. Maybe I should go over there to your line. Because <laughs> I, agree, I, agree I agree with you. Like yeah. I like the power play. I love <laughs> older people. I'm not gonna date a bomb. I just like younger with girls and guys, but, and then to travel. <sighs> Normal, I would say normal people, but people who work at McDonald's or something, they can't <laughs> pay to go on a trip. And I don't want to have to be the one to like constantly pay for us to go on trips. That's not fair to me. I feel like my love language mm -hmm. is gift giving. So I've always had like a big sugar mama kink. Like I've always like, <laughs> like, I just like to take care of someone, especially like, I just feel like a lot of men aren't taken care of and they'll get compliments. And I just like to make them feel really good with like buying them roses and spoiling them in ways. And my nigga. <laughs> and and also I don't know every time I talk to like a, a rich guy he always sucks ass. Like it's LA, yeah, it's LA. Yeah. You gotta talk to rich guys outside of LA. International. Okay. International. <laughs> <laughs> I would like um, the guy that take me on trip, take me out to a nice restaurant, wear a nice suit, dress nice, to go to nice places. It's not like he have to make a like top dollars. It's at least he's have the money to provide. Um, yeah, I think it makes more hmm. sense to date someone like on the same playing field as yourself. I mean, yeah. dating someone with a little less money is fine too if they're like grinding yeah, and like on that the is true up, too. Like, I'll rock with you too. Um, so I have actually dated plenty of men who are unemployed and I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> so I really don't mind being the one who pays for it if my partner can't afford it. But I also really do enjoy being uh, given gifts, right? Even if he isn't making a lot of money, like getting me a little chocolate from like 7-Eleven. But I do appreciate somebody who is making enough money to show me love in a gift giving way, even if it's really tiny. Sex work mm. is easy money. Wait, this is, this is <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if we were all in oh agreement. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Violet, Holly, you guys are a neutral. Why is that? I say yes because when you're attractive, I can just post a titty picture and then I make money off that. So I say it's easy in that way. But no, because of what we go through mentally and physically when we do these scenes where we have to 
train for anal, do gangbangs, and it's not really as easy as people make it seem. Easy for some things, but it's really hard for other things. You know, mm. we're such a small representation of people who do porn, when there's hundreds of thousands of people who aren't as successful or don't look the, the same way as us, and they still absorb that same amount of risk of like social stigma and the way people treat us yeah. and the way people talk to us and date us and the way we try to buy houses. And But on top of that, I feel like becoming a successful sex worker or a successful entertainer, you can't be stupid. You know, you have to yeah. have like some type of wit and some type of creativity about you because unlike most- Man, OnlyFans was a game changer when that came out there's plenty of dudes on only fans i i never gotten into it because i i don't know i i, I don't want to pay for porn i don't even really look at porn like that forms of entertainment there is no handbook for becoming a successful porn star or only fans girl on top of the fact that yeah triple anal is hard but also like triple <laughs> anal you know like yeah all the hate can be hard what even with thick skin it can be extremely difficult and you know like my parents don't even know what i do because it would be such a bad time for oh me. wow so i feel like in that aspect it is hard so being a sex worker isn't just going out there that that's interesting i would want to i'd want to um talk to kazumi about that how she feels about that um doing something and not telling your parents about it because the, the way i when i think about it um i always at least tell my mom thing King, it's actually being your own ceo so like i have a company i have 40 employees i, want them in I the manage know, it you know? every day i have people that depend on me and my body literally working my ass off for this brand and on top of that my 10 years in porn, I have pinched two nerves in my back and slipped a disc just from pile driver. And I have some health problems now from all the times that I've cleaned out. I've had stitches in my vajay um, from scenes. So I don't think people really take that into account. Like, especially when you perform on a certain level, you're a sexual athlete. Like if you do a DP, I don't know if you guys have done it. It feels like you've been in a 20 mile car wreck the next day. Oh, no. Right? Like, you know, like I'm I just got, hit, got in a car accident at 20 miles per hour. I'm going to speak on the black girls in the industry. Pretty or not, they have it really tough. Yeah, there's racism in every industry, but for black women just taking off their clothes in a sex industry, it's not the same playing field. It's completely different. Why is it completely different? Like, what kind of struggles do you guys go through? There's hair situation, there's makeup situations, there's maybe the white guy's not there's really attracted racist. to the black girl and he mentions it on set and then he's like, fuck those who have to fuck you. Why the fuck did you tell me that? I don't need to hear that. Like, let's just do it and make our money and go home. But you have that, directors being racist, girls, black girls not being hired as much as white girls. Yeah, so the money's very different between a white performer and a black performer. There was just something the other day, a girl couldn't wear her afro on set, like her natural hair on what? set. They were like, no, we have to do something to your hair. That's messed up. Yeah. That's so messed up. It's like, can't even wear your f***ing natural hair to set. And it's also emotionally Damn. draining having to respond to like subscribers sometimes because it's like, I haven't had sex with a man in over a year and it's like, subs are always like, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Like, what I'm doing is not enough for them. And that also takes an emotional toll. They want so much. But yeah. before OnlyFans, it was just like, you could only see us in movies online. Mm -hmm. Now that they have OnlyFans, they're like, you're mine. No, yeah, we I need like time. I think one of the craziest things mm. is we could talk about all the issues we face and a lot of the comments are going to prove us exactly right because they'll still be like, you chose this. Yeah. Yeah. Chose yeah. This. yeah. yeah. Like that's, yeah. So that's what I've been thinking this entire There's, time. Oh, it's like, I could say like, oh, this is so sad. And they'll be like, well, you decided to be a whore. Yeah, and, but you what, know? Is, what, is my, what does my job have to do with the treatment of you? Just because I decided that this is what I wanted to do doesn't mean I've decided to allow you to treat me with that type of um, mannerisms because I decided to expose my body online. I think mm. sex works is, is easy like in a sense where I could just like pull my tits out and like make the same as like a minimum wage job working 40 hours a week but also the mental toll and the physical toll of just like putting yourself on display every day isn't easy. If you are a very conventionally attractive white woman, it is easy to start in the beginning, but you need to be smart enough to continue that momentum. I, as a tall, you know, chubbier, bigger woman have faced plenty of discriminations towards opportunities working with people because of my size. And it is hard. There are plenty of women who have bigger bodies and my body does not determine my success, but it, there, that, that's definitely another peg that is difficult to climb. And people are mean. 
<laughs> Straight up, people, people can be very mean. You know, echoing what Adriana said, there are plenty of people that are gonna comment on this YouTube video and be like, you chose this work, you knew what you were signing up for, you don't know me, you don't know my situation, you don't know, you know, what health issues I may have. Maybe this is all I can do. For people to comment like, oh, you know, slut, whore, whale, fat, like a bunch of other things. It's hard. I said neutral just because mm. I took it from like a personal standpoint and I find sex work easy for me. I'm a horny gal. So, no. you know, when I was working like a nine to five, I used to work in a nightclub industry and one, not only did I have to fit my sex life around the crazy hours I was working, two, I got sexually harassed way more in that industry than I ever have on a porn set. Obviously speaking, you know, I have the privileges of being white, conventionally attractive, all of that. I really enjoy doing it. I haven't had a bad experience yet that might change. And obviously everyone's experience is different, but for me personally, it's the easiest and best job I've ever had. I'm mm. open to hooking up with my fans. Oh, wow. That's yes. Did I say that? Where's yes? Oh, this is yes. Yes. <laughs> That's no. That's no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gave hey. a fan an experience one time and the competition was for the disabled. And I had, an experience of a fan and he was completely blind. He'd only heard my voice on podcasts. And I remember I asked him if he was an ass or titty guy. He said, titty guy. And I let him touch my boobs for so long. And I know, <laughs> and I know that that moment mattered so much to him because a lot of people don't realize that disabled people are horny and also have the same needs as wants as everyone else. I like to just give someone a good time, man. <laughs> like, why the fuck not? I don't care if you're a fan or not. I mean, I feel like anyone that f***s me now has probably seen my porn, so they probably are already a fan. So I feel like they try harder. I feel like my fans are cute. And I like to make men happy. It's like my purpose. <laughs> I like to make them horny. I like boners. I like everything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more flattering than hooking up with someone who is obsessed, obsessed with you. For it. Like They're anyone excited. that I would want to date, I would <laughs> want my partner to be like adore me and be obsessed with me and be my biggest fan. So why wouldn't I be a fan? So what I try to Maybe establish I should go with fans, fans. kind of like a relationship. No, I feel like a lot of know. them are dating me. Um, it picture me as their girlfriend. So obviously you want to fuck your girlfriend. And then um, also I do a lot of fan stuff because one if I of made the it best only things fans, you can do when you're would, building a business, so you want to build I would a stream. Niche, <laughs> I wonder so if you can you have stream these inside on jokes. Fans. Or you have these Bring other people who are going to be like, I got to fight Adriana Chechik. Okay. Oh, I haven't f***ed a fan yet, but I'm definitely open to it. I mean, I see the pics that you guys send in, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fans so. are, I think, the biggest dicks. Yeah. They do. Soon yeah. enough, yeah. soon yeah. enough, yeah. I'm sure. I'm like, why is it so big? You should be in porn. <laughs> I, I, always have, I always have fans who have the best loads. Like I've, I've done scenes where they've just come and drop loads on me and like even porn directors who have filmed it have been like, why are they better than male talent? And I'm like, cause they're not jaded and they're excited to be here. Like what you have said, like they're excited to be with you. They're excited for the experience. So. They don't take a bunch of shit to keep them. Yeah, and hard, it's just like one, so. two yeah. times, they're ready to go, you know? I strongly agree and agree cause I've f***ed a couple fans. One was a disabled like yours, he had <gasps> autism. Oh. He, I thought I was gonna die though, honestly. <laughs> because of the autism? Yeah, he choked me out. And oh. I was like looking outside the window to like the neighbors, like, this is it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just met him. I was like, I yeah. just met him, but yeah, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like to see my fans. Because they know me, we talk, like, it's personal. And they're kind of weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They like what you like because yeah. they watch you. We so talk it's even about better. video games, like, video, like, they're cool. Um, I have a lot of my fans. <laughs> 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 but I just like to fuck fans because like you don't know them, like you're just chatting with them online and then all of a sudden just meeting them and then getting excited and sometimes they put out this trick like it's really good sex and some of them are really cute. They try hard. Yeah. I like yeah. they try hard. <laughs> and you can be demanding to them too because yeah. they're also like, oh my god, this is great. So like you can be like, no, get down on the floor and fucking do this right now. Like, you yeah. <laughs> know? If they're into that. <laughs> Sometimes, like, guys, like, try to play it cool and they're like, oh, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter if you fuck or not. And I'm always like, you're a loser, dude. Because yeah. I have guys begging to fuck me and I want a guy who, like, is on his knees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Worship us. We deserve it. So <laughs> my entire page, I do cater to, like, what is known as, like, a girlfriend experience, kind of similar to Adriana. I like to get really personal with my fans. I offer a lot of things like video game dates and 
doing e-dates and stuff like that. I haven't f***ed a fan yet, but I really want to. There are some where I'm like, hey, you're actually really cute and I'm really vibing with you and like, do you want to come over and anime and chill? Because I'm also like a very like nerdy girl at heart mm -hmm. and so a lot of the men that I meet, you Watch know, they don't have anyway. a lot of confidence and they don't normally get a lot of female attention and I just love making them feel as confident as they should feel about themselves and I'm That's like, hey, right. like nerdy guys are my type. Like, <laughs> trust me, you have it. You have a chance, bro. <laughs> well, I pretty much started from the beginning of my career doing the <gasps> fans because I wasn't really shooting that much and I was constantly online, so I had time to just hang out and be with my fans. And relationships are hard in this industry. Ooh, this is interesting. Yes. Yes. No. Wait, oh wait, this is, no. this wait, this way. No. This is yes. Yeah. This is yeah. no. <laughs> for sure. Relationships have always been really easy for me. Sorry. <laughs> Sharded. <laughs> if I'm dating someone, I give them enough respect to let them know everything there is about me, even my piss kink, because I want them to have the space to make that judgment on their own if they want to fuck with me or not. If I'm going to prolong these important conversations, even if it wasn't about sex and porn, I would basically be wasting my time and like heading towards the inevitable, inevitable, which is finding people that don't fuck with that. So I've always been really straight up like, hey, like this is what I'm about, this is what I'm into, and I own that. This is my life and it really fulfills me. I will never be monogamous. If there's Hell one thing yeah. I like more than it's new every single day. So, you know, and if you're not into that, then we wouldn't date. I attract exactly what I am, so I feel like I date fellow sluts. So they kind of get the game. I've been in a long-term open relationship for years now, and even before I date porn. I'm just surrounded by my circle of people who agree with what I do. So I'm always going to be dating people who understand something. So it's never been hard for me because Damn. people who wouldn't agree with that have never been an option to me. Just to clear things up, what is your piss key? <laughs> I love to get pissed on. What? Yeah. See what what, what else could room? it be? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just asking for the idiots that are watching this. Like, what, what else could a piss kink be? Like, yeah. yeah. Like, you like drinking it? <laughs> no, I'm like what? a gargler. Some people like it oh. in them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had pee oh, in my yeah. pussy. So have I. It feels nice. Oh. It's warm. It yeah. is very and then warm. They can pee out what the hell? It. It's, nice. <laughs> it's happened to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like it also like, cleans it out. I don't know if anyone else is that way, but. I don't yeah, know if it cleans like, oh, it out. It's nice now. <laughs> it feels evil in there. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, relationship is hard. This is true story. I was on Hinge at one point, like dating site. Yes, I was posting my profile, and this guy acted like he doesn't know who I am and asked me out. So when we got to the bar or whatever, thank God it's a bar, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> so he started talking this, oh, do you want to tell me anything? Oh, how about your online things? This person not really just wanted to date me. He wanted to like ask me out to see if I'm real or maybe like have a sex with me. Yeah. Um, I find it incredibly what? hard to date to the point where I actually like can't get dates. So there's two perspectives on that. So if I were to go meet somebody, it's kind of hard because I don't like random people to know my real name. So obviously <laughs> I'm meeting them as Adriana Chechik and that's extremely That's not a real name? Intimidating. Um, I've had Wait, guys literally- Wait, Adriana Chechik isn't her real name? I thought that was her really real name. They walk out on me when I've met them because they're so intimidated by me. And then also, I've done some of the most extreme sex acts on camera that guys can't swallow or get past. I currently do kind of live like a little bit of a lonely life. There's another aspect where guys only want to date me to like show show me off to other people or their friends. They immediately treat me like the Adrianic. Adriana Chechik like experience, right? So like if I was gonna go meet a guy, like they would never hold my hand or, f or anything. The first thing they do is they try and like have sex with me. So it's really like disheartening to be honest. And I've kind of just given up. I feel like sadly, I actually feel like I might not ever find like a boyfriend like that. I'm Damn. Just being alone forever. Yeah, so That's sad. I think there are plenty of people who are immediately not an option for me because I also practice ethical non- What's going on guys? What's going on out there? How come you guys won't calm your tits down and date a nice looking sex worker they don't their their time their relationship shouldn't be difficult if you're gonna if you're gonna date somebody that does that job you got to be committed I have that's been what they in want they just they just want somebody to commit now he was with me when I started to get into the sex work industry and there were a lot of battles there um, a lot of 
men feel intimidated, especially if you work with other men. They're like, oh, I can't live up to, you know, the people that you're working with. I don't know how to do this. And there are a lot of intimacy problems that can occur. Yeah, that's why I think it's hard, but it's also not hard depending. I think you just need a lot of communication. I agree that it's really hard. Um, once you get into a relationship, your fans feel like they're not in the same relationship anymore. So to be with someone like me, you're gonna have to understand that I can't be posting you. I can't be ex like showing you off how you are with me because my fans are not only gonna feel like entitled, but they're also gonna be disrespectful to you. They're gonna be sending you screenshots of my work and telling you very hateful things. And I feel like you have to be mentally prepared yeah. to date a sex worker or a performer because of what comes with it. And you know, coming home sometimes or I don't wanna have sex, you're gonna have to be okay with not like wanting to have sex. And it's just a lot that comes with it. So I think it's yeah. really hard. And being bisexual is a hit or miss too because the women outside the industry can't understand how <laughs> Film. Yes, and, that and happens gay. to me. Like what? Like that happens to me. So I'm on a website for women because I wanted to like look for a girl, and they, if like real lesbians, don't want to interact with you if you've had a <gasps> inside of you. Yeah, and it's extremely hard. And like it's a job. Oh, yeah, wow. it's a fun job, but it's a job. Yeah, I'm coming home to you, and I'm gonna take a shower before I get to bed with you. Like, yes, please. I love what I do right now. I love sex. I love everything about the industry, but I'm also, I'm 21. So right oh, wow. now, She's I'm really not looking young. for anything super long term. Relationship wise, I'm very monogamous. So when I do get to that point, I think I will have wanted to leave the industry so that Some I can the bow ties in her hair. I want to. If I was trying to find a monogamous relationship right now, it would be basically impossible with what I do for work. Oh, I'm they're on the same tied. Page as Holly. Once I it's like they're tied in her hair. I probably will want to. I don't know. I don't know girls and, I think it'll just and their hair. Best. They do their hair I'm and more out of the scene once I. Want I don't to do my one. hair. I just put on a beanie. Scene, right? Well, I've done OnlyFans for three years, but I'm three years. Going to start working with more people now and doing porn, so I'm very excited. Woo! I always said that no one wanted to date me in the first place, so I feel like OnlyFans honestly made it a lot easier to find people who wanted to date me. I feel like I'm my most authentic self with OnlyFans. I haven't been in a long-term relationship, and this is like very specific to me. Again, no one wanted to date me in the first place, but like all of a sudden, all these guys want to take me out or want to do things with me that just no one wanted to do before. The f***ing's hard, too. It's like they want to f*** Adriana Chachek. They don't want to f*** this yeah. person. I'm like, Dude, we can't do this no, all I don't the time. Swallow your dick all the time. Like, yeah. can I just lay there and do the zombie? Can we be subtle? Like, yeah, no. Poor start to eat me out and yeah. let me go to sleep. Yeah. That's gonna actually hmm. lead to my next question. So let's get you guys in the middle. Do you guys think I'm cute? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's the end of the video. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel yeah. that went? I think it's really cool that we were allowed to talk on. Um... I think I think it was a good conversation piece. I feel like this video is right up there in terms of quality, up there with Jubilee. You got the warehouse, you got the lines, everything was perfect. Um, the camera angles are perfect, the lighting's perfect on all the girls. Um, you know, it, it was just a very put very put together video. Let me see what else he had to say. Some subjects people don't really get to understand or hear and give them some insight into, you know, our personal opinions and feelings, especially with the, like, dating parts and the money stuff. A lot of people don't know that, so I think it's awesome. I know a lot of people are going to learn a lot of new things watching this video, which is really cool. Yep. Awesome. Thank you guys. Make sure to follow them on everything, guys. I, uh, I definitely uh, learned a lot. Um, what about you? Did you learn anything? Did you like? Did you like this video? Make sure you go subscribe to my man, David Alvarezzi. He's got 1.26 million subscribers. He needs 10 million subscribers. Get him to 10 million by tomorrow. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. If you wanna join the lurkers, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified. Every time I make a drop, I do reaction videos like this one and I do gameplay videos. Uh, I'm gonna try to diversify my gaming. Um, I got one game that I really wanna um, do a YouTube series on. Uh, has to do with Detroit, uh, no big deal. Um, anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, lurkers.